Where'd he go? I don't know. He was just chasing me. We're not gonna find him like this. Scully, stop! Have you heard of a creature that can only be seen if you believe it exists? That describes everything you've ever told me about. Periculum cauticus, commonly known as Macaukeo. Eyewitnesses refer to it as a sort of observer, watching from dark rooms and keeping record of people's actions. But it's so evasive that even just turning on a light is enough to make it disappear. Sounds like your perfect match. What is that supposed to mean? You never turn the lights on. We're in a house with a dangerous criminal, and I can't see anything because you're too paranoid about some sort of mythical beast. I have reason to believe that the criminal we're chasing is in fact one of these Macaukeo. What reason? That I'm always right. You are not always right. I'm pretty much always right. Most of our cases are open-ended. Let's just turn on the lights and take a look around for a second. Safeguarding your residence against burglary. You know your own home better than any intruder ever could, so turning on the lights only gives them an unnecessary advantage. The fact that you regularly fight people in your unlit apartment does not make me more comfortable chasing a deranged criminal down dark, unfamiliar hallways. Well, maybe you'd be less afraid of the dark if you could hold on to your gun. I am a federal agent, I am not afraid of the dark, and I can hold on to my gun. Damn, where is it? Most of the things we've encountered prefer to hide in the shadows. If we can't penetrate that darkness, what chance do we stand of finding the truth? That's very poetic, but you sit at home with the lights off even when there aren't double agents trying to kill you. When was the last time you paid your electric bill? 1993, U.S. Residential Energy Consumption Survey. Keeping the lights off when not in use can save 720 watt hours and 7.2 cents per day. You know what I think? You want so badly for everything to be some sort of mystical alien ghost monster that you make sure you never see enough to be proven wrong. That's ridiculous. First, I'm never wrong. Second, look around us. You think turning on the light is gonna change something about that spooky looking statue? Okay, well, how do you explain the collection of swords against the wall? Anything else? Actually, yeah. The guy standing behind you. Hi there! Are you the electricians? I've been having some trouble with my lights. Have you by chance seen a macaqueo around here? Ah, uh, that sounds made up. Our cases are pretty open-ended. I'm sorry to disturb you. I don't understand. Mulder, maybe the amount of time you spend in the dark changes your outlook on the world. Why don't you try living in the light for a few days and see how it affects things? Hey, why are you still in my house? Despite attempts by Agent Mulder and I to corner the suspect inside the suburban residence, he managed to evade us and slip away. However, Agent Mulder proved to make significant progress in overcoming his own biases. Originally attributing the killer's evasive nature to supernatural powers, he seems to have accepted that there could be alternative explanations to explore. I feel confident that with enough exposure to direct sunlight, he might begin to overcome his own paranoia and then to... Scully? Mulder? You turn on the lights! You're the Macacoa! Oh, for God's sakes. Ta-da!